Section 2 Exploring Welcome Portal Welcome Portal is the new unified interface for all consumers, power users, authors and administrators. In this section, you will learn about this interface and create your first dashboard. Welcome Portal When we launch Cognos Analytics, it loads this interface in the new tab of the browser. This interface is called the Welcome Portal. The first thing that meets your eye is this welcome message. Below the welcome message, you will find these shortcuts for the tour of the product, short videos explaining how to use this tool, and link to some sample dashboards and reports. When you scroll down, you see this list of recent items. It is very handy to find the dashboards, stories, and reports that you have viewed recently. If this list is empty, don't worry. It will build up quickly as you start using this tool. Once you become familiar with Cognos, you may not want to see this welcome message each time you log on. And hence, you can easily turn them off by clicking on this option called Show Welcome. Once switched off, you will only see the recent items on this welcome page. Now, let's scroll up. The blue bar on top is called Application Bar. On the Application Bar in the middle, notice that there is a label called Welcome. If you click on it, a small drop-down appears. This drop-down enables switching from one open dashboard to another open dashboard. In the older Cognos versions, it was not possible to open multiple dashboards or reports in the same tab of the browser. Whereas now you can open several dashboards and reports within one browser and then switch between them using this drop down. You can also set a dashboard or report as your home page so that instead of seeing this welcome page, you will directly see that selected dashboard or report which you have set as a home page each time you log on. You will learn how to do that later in this course. Below the application bar, we see this alert banner. Alert banners are useful to publish certain messages to alert all the users. For example, notifying them of upcoming downtime for maintenance. Only system administrators can add new alert messages in this banner. And it is not possible in the multi-tenant cloud environment which we are using. We can hide the alerts by clicking on the Dismiss option. Now let's look at these options on the left hand side. The first button will bring you back to the home page from any other dashboard or page that you may have opened. It is similar to clicking on the menu from top and selecting the home page. The third and the fourth icons here are called My Content and Team Content Areas. Let's first learn about them. This icon opens My Content area. My Contents is the folder which is your private area and only you can see the contents which are stored here. You can save data modules, dashboards and stories here and you will be able to find them and open them anytime you log on with your own ID. However, if someone else logs on to IBM Cognos with their ID, which is obviously different from your ID, then they will not be able to see any of your items. So this area is completely secured and accessible only to yourself. Whereas this icon opens team content. This is the area where you will save the data modules, dashboards and reports so that others can find them and open them. Typically the items in team contents are organized in folders. It is possible to control the access in team contents as well. That means it is possible to control which folders are visible to which users. This is done by creating user groups and granting access on the folders to certain user groups. You will need the help from system administrator to do that. As you are using the single user cloud license, saving anything in team contents is not allowed. This is because with the single license, it is expected that you will save all your contents in the My Contents area only. However, 
you will be able to access the samples from team contents for learning purposes. Now let's come to the second option called search. It is placed above my contents and team contents buttons because it is more frequently used. When you click on it, it opens the search panel where you can type one or more keywords and then tap enter to search. Cognos will search for these keywords in my contents as well as team contents areas. It will look for these keywords not only in the names of the dashboards and reports, but it will also search in the tables, column labels, XML report specifications, URL items, shortcuts, templates, and much more. For example, if you type sales and then hit enter, you will find these entries. While policy analysis data module doesn't contain the word sales in the title, it shows up because it contains a table called sales. Users typically use search panel more frequently than going into team contents or my contents and then locating an item. When you find any item in the search panel or even in team contents and my contents panels, you will see this overflow icon next to them. When you click on the icon, it will show the options which are appropriate to this item. In order to open any dashboard or data module, you can either tap on its name or you can open the context menu and select the appropriate option. Now let's look at moving or copying any item. You can right click on any dashboard or data module and you will get the option to move or copy it. If you want to perform this operation on multiple items, you can click on this icon to select the item and then you can hold control key or shift key down on the keyboard and then select the other items. This way you can select multiple items and now right click on these selected items and you will be able to move, copy or delete these items together. Now, let's come to this fourth icon. This icon opens recent panel. This panel will show the recently viewed items. And it is very useful because users typically end up accessing their favorite 5 to 10 dashboards and reports repeatedly. This list is similar to the recent items that we see on the welcome page. While we are learning about this interface, let's also learn how to create new folders. And I want you to try this with me. Please click on the My Contents icon and then in this panel, click on the plus icon on the top. You will see the options to create a folder, URL or upload a file. Please tap on the folder option and now a new folder is created. Give it a name as Section 2 Achievements. You will use this folder when you create your first dashboard later in this section. So I hope that you are now comfortable to navigate in this Cognos space.